Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will learn how to create applications in Excel using VBA. So let's get started. Now this is a cool application that I developed a couple of months ago and in this video we will learn how to make this kind of application and what all goes into making it. So there would be a VBA coding for sure but then there would be different different uh, places where we would have to store the code. Uh, there would be click events, there would be user forms and there would be a lot of things. So we will see how everything comes together. I will not take you through each and every line and I would not try and recreate this from scratch but I will take you through the thought process process and how I did it. Uh, if you have watched all the videos so far in this course then there is nothing that you would not understand. We have already covered all the concepts and all the details uh, in the previous videos. So let me first show you what this application does. Uh, if you have uh, read uh, the book called Seven Habits of Highly Effective People or if you have heard about the Eisenhower matrix then you would know what this is. Uh, and what we do here is we add tasks to this list and here we have four boxes the first one is important and urgent so any task that is marked as important as well as urgent goes in here these could be tasks such as get grocery or complete project report then there are tasks which are important but are not urgent something like calling your mom which is obviously important but maybe you don't need to call her tonight then that's not urgent and maybe getting a dentist uh, appointment maybe it's a monthly thing or a quarterly thing then that is, this is a routine task it's important but it is not urgent then there are tasks which are not important but they're still urgent which is something like replying to your boss's email uh, because it is urgent but maybe it's not important it's a, a small issue or it's a simple email that you have to respond to him uh, then those things come here and then we have things which are not important and not urgent at all maybe I, I need to clear my desk uh, which I need to but again it lies in the not important not urgent part which is something that I can avoid so this is a task matrix that we have created this is a priority task matrix where you would instantly know that these are the tasks that I need to complete right away and then I need to move to these one this ones and then uh, these two categories are tasks that I can either if possible I can delegate it to someone or leave it out uh, completely so now uh, let me show you how to add tasks to this if you come here and you click on this button add a new task it opens this dialog box which says add new task and here you have to enter the task if you try and add a task without entering anything then it will show you this error it will become red so you would have to add a task uh, so let's say uh, the task here is record course video and let's say it's important and it is urgent as well and this part is not mandatory so if I go here and I add this task you can see it would instantly go here in the necessity box because it has identified that it is important and it is urgent let's try again I would come here and let me uh, type something else so let's say uh, the task is get medicine and let's say it is uh, important but let's say it's not urgent I already have the stock for the medicine and if I click on add task then it goes here another thing that I want to show you is that there are quite a lot of checks in place in case you try and add something where there is no task then it gives you this red uh, highlight if I add something some gibberish here and I don't select anything in the important urgent uh, these combo boxes then again it would give me the same kind of uh, red highlight and if I select something here but I don't select something here then it would again become red I would have to select something and then I can go ahead it's okay if you do not key in all these uh, task status because uh, this is something which is optional so let me put cancel press cancel here and the user form goes away so this is how you can populate this now uh, another thing that you can do is if you have completed a task let's say you've got the groceries then you can simply double click on it and as soon as you do this you can see that this gets checked off similarly if you've already called your mom you can double click on it and if you think you haven't but you by mistake did this simply double click on it again and that strike through formatting or that, that line goes away and you can mark these tasks at completed and when you are done with it 
then you can simply go and select remove completed tasks and as soon as you would click on this button all these tasks would go away so if I do this you can see that all these tasks are now gone now whenever you add a new task here it also gets added here in this worksheet which is to do list so all the activities that I've added here gets added in this list uh, the importance level and the urgency levels are recorded and the status whether it has be it has to be started in progress or it has to be completed are also recorded here so let's see what happens when I come here and I double click on any of these activities let's say I've already called my mom and I double click on it it gets checked off and I come back here and it is marked as completed and what I can do is now I can go here and I can click on remove completed tasks it would check back here whenever it finds a completed task it would remove it and when it gets removed here it stops getting displayed here so it's removed from here as well so this is the application that I've created it took me uh, a couple of hours to create this application and when I'll show you how easy it is then you would realize that these kind of applications can be created quite easily if you understand the power of VBA so let me show you step by step how I've done this and the first uh, building block of this is this user form so let's first talk about this user form uh, if you have a bit of confusion on how to make these kinds of user form I would suggest you go back and watch the video where we talk about the user form deep dive and we have created a similar user form in that case as well now let's go back to the VB editor I would press alt F 11 and here we have the add task user form uh, we have added these elements we have the labels we have these text boxes combo boxes we have this frame and then we have these buttons so I would not get into how to add these we have already covered these in detail let me go through the code for it and the code that does everything is here for this button add task so when I double click on this button it opens this code for this user form and let's go through this code for this button which is cmd add task underscore click which means command button underscore click and the first thing that this does is it checks for some conditions and the conditions it checks is whether the text task dot value is equal to blank which means that it comes here and it checks whether this is blank or not if this is blank it will make it red let's go back and ch and see in this case if this value task text task dot value is blank then it makes the back color is equal to VB red similarly it checks for if CBO important dot value is equal to blank it makes it red similarly it checks here if CBO urgent dot value is equal to blank then it makes it red so these are the conditions it checks and when these conditions are met then it would add these values and it would add these values in the to-do list worksheet let me go back here so when I add an activity and I add everything here as soon as I add task in the back end that activity first gets added here and when it gets added here then it gets displayed here because here we have uh, the reference to this sheet here let me unhide the sheet where I have all the calculations so in this sheet I have all the calculations that get done and uh, there's nothing special in this worksheet actually all it does is whenever you add a task those tasks get segregated and get displayed here uh, stacked up so in this case let's say here in to-do list I have this task call mom which is important and urgent then it gets stacked up at the top here in this important uh, box or the important category and that's all what it does now let's go back to the code the other thing that it does is that whenever you type something so whenever you're trying to add a task and it's not it is getting displayed as red and whenever you start typing it becomes white again and that is something that happens in the code for this text box so when you're trying to add something and it is empty it's the code here in this task that would display this to be red but if you start typing something then it would be the code within this text box that would make it white if I double click on it you can see it's the code here which says if text task dot value is not equal to blank then make the back color white and this is the same thing that we do for other elements as well so this is how the user form is working 
if you talk about the cancel button which uh, makes the user form goes aw go away it's this code simple code which says unload me and unload me would simply unload the user form so this is how the user form is working now the next element in this application is the double click event if I double click on anything then it checks off the activity or it it unchecks the activity so we'll go back to the VB editor and we would go into the task matrix sheet here because this is where we have the code that does it and it's a really simple code let me go through this line by line and you would probably understand it uh, very quickly the first thing that I say is I declare a couple of variables I put cancel is equal to false here and then we would put cancel is equal to true again but let's go through this uh, line by line. Uh, the first thing I do is I declare uh, an object variable which would which is a range which is a range type object variable and then I declare a string data type variable which is find string and I set find string is equal to target is equal to value which means that if I double click on say call mom then find string value becomes call mom and then I identify the targets where I have double clicked so in this case if the target dot column is equal to number two which means if it is either B or E or H or K then it checks for the row number if it is these columns and if it is between these rows which is row number 5 to 14 where I say if target dot row is more than 4 or less than 15 then cancel is equal to true which means that do not get into the edit mode if I double click here it doesn't get into the edit mode but, uh, but if I double click here then it says protected which means that it, if I come back here and I unprotect this sheet then it would get into the double the, the edit mode here but it would not in this case and then when these conditions are true when I know that the target row is more than 5 and less than 15 and the target column is any one of these columns then I say if find string is equal to blank which means that if I double click anywhere where there is no text maybe let's say here or here then do nothing exit the sub nothing happens but if I double click anywhere where there is text then it would first extract the right part of this text because I do not want this bullet part bullet point I do not want a space after it I want to remove the two characters from the left and extract the text from the right so this line would do it find string is equal to write target dot value and then I say len target dot value minus two which would extract the text here so if I double click on it find string would become call mom and then I set range is equal to sheets to do list which is this sheet and I go through this entire column column B and I find this value which is find string so if I double click here let's say call mom it would come here it would go through this entire column and it would identify where there is this cell call mom which has this value call mom and that cell address or that cell reference would go into this variable which is range and then I would check if this task is completed then I would put blank here which would mean that I would remove the completed uh, task and make it blank and if it is not completed then I put completed here so let's see what is happening I come here and I cl double click on call mom as soon as I double click here it goes back it checks this list when it identifies that the, uh, the value call mom is here it would come here and it would mark this as completed and as soon as this is marked as completed conditional formatting kicks in and it puts this strike through format here if I press alt o d to open the conditional formatting dialog box you can see that there is this formula that would identify where this text is in this list checks whether it's completed or not and put that strike through format and that's pretty much what it does and then it this loop ends so this is how the double click event works and then the final event or the final thing that works is the delete or remove completed tasks and if I click on this you can see all these tasks have been removed now these tasks when you click on this what happens is it goes back it identifies all those tasks which are completed and it removes it and let's go to the code and see how it does it to do this I had to create a module so we have seen a form here we have seen uh, an event here and then we also see we'll also see a module and this delete completed task module is here uh, sub is here in this module and what it does is a simple thing uh, it first has this object variable as list object the reason for this is that 
table in Excel is saved as a list object. So it has this list object here. What it would do is it would simply go through this list object and it would identify the total number which is stored in test2. Test2 has the total number of rows in this table. Then it would go one row at a time and it would identify whether this has been completed or not. If the task has been completed, then it simply deletes it. It says test1, which is the list object, dot data body range, which is uh, a part of list object tables. And it counts here, row count is the counter that is going on. It checks the fourth uh, column here. If it is completed, then it comes here, it deletes it and it, it brings all the other uh, rows below it, one row up because this has been deleted and then the loop goes again. So all it does is, if you come back here and if there is something which is let's say completed, marked as completed and I come here and I say remove delete completed tasks, it would come here go through each of these cells, check whether it is completed or not. If it, is, it has been completed or if it is completed, then it would simply delete this row and then it would keep on doing it. And when it has checked for all these cells, then it would stop. So this is how this remove completed tasks work. And when all these things come together, then you can add a new task as soon as a new task here. Let's say you add something here it gets added here you can double click mark it as completed and then you can remove the completed task so this is this is how this entire application works and you have seen we have used all those things that we have learned so far we have used a user form we have used a double click event we have used a module within module we have a sub which works with remove remove completed task within user form we have, we have seen how to put those checks in place so that you are not able to add an activity until unless you put some text within the text box or you select the priority and we have also seen how to use a double click event so as soon as you double click here these tasks get checked off and it is marked as completed here. So this is how uh, these small small things have come together to, to create this cool application. And uh, this is one of the blog posts that I've shared with my readers. Uh, of course they do not know how to make this but uh, this has got so much traction and it is one of the highest uh, clicked post or highest clicked blog on my website and this, uh, this template has been downloaded uh, thousands of times. So this is how you can use VBA to create a custom application where you can do things where you can make different things talk to each other be it user form or be it double click event and then create something that can be used uh, in a day-to-day -day work by you or by other people so that's it in this video I hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day